All right. We good to go? All right. Uh, I'll count it down. Uh, okay. Good to go. Let's go. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right. So this is Dungeon of Zolfan. This is part of the uh, Super Metroid block because this is basically Super Metroid. You can see the graphics are very similar. Uh, <laughs> already messed it up. It's fine. So this is a uh, Metroidvania clone that you can get on Steam for a dollar. It's pretty easy uh, to play. And actually, this was a game that we picked up as part of uh, Obscure Speedruns Club, where people just suggest games that less than 10 people play on speedrun.com. And uh, this is one of the ones that we played. We had about we added about 12 people to the uh, leaderboards, but. So in, since we're doing 100%, that means that we're going to be picking up all of the uh, upgrades. There's nine different upgrades. That's the first one right there, high jump. Four of the upgrades are movement-based. There's four hearts, and then there's a rapid fire that we'll use. So uh, The 100% category is probably about 15 minutes, but we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so after the first one, we're going towards uh, getting the next upgrade, which is going to be a dash. Uh, one of the key things to this game is we're doing a lot of damage boosting. And what we want to do is uh, identify which which enemies do one point of damage and two points of damage, because we only have three hearts for a large portion of this run. All right, so. Oh, messed that one up. Uh, I should also mention at this point in time, I'm going to donate $5 for every death, so that's one. If you want to keep keep count of that. All right, so because we took a damage boost earlier, we don't want a damage boost here. We got one hit point, but it'll be fine after we get this. All right, so on to the first boss. Uh, the actual name of this boss in the game is Angry Face. Very creative names. Um, this one's a cycle-based boss. As you do damage to him, he's going to move faster. We're going to try and do him in three cycles. All right. That's pretty good. Pretty close to getting the three cycle. I missed that one shot, so it's probably unlikely at this point in time. Oh, we got it. That's the three cycle. All right. So now that we got dash, we're going to be uh, dashing for most of the run. All right. So we'll save it. All right, so we have to go back again. The, uh, the, the These guys do two points of damage, so we don't want to hit one, them. Well, I just did, so probably going to die here. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to damage boost through that guy, so I shouldn't take damage before him, so. Man. All right, let's see. Well, messed that one up again. So that's uh, three deaths now. Don't worry, at the, nobody has to keep count because uh, at the end of the game, it will tell you. So we're looking for a, a big donation here because if I've died three times already. All right. We'll damage boost off the squares because they only do one point of damage. And we're on to the next area. Uh, the spikes at the bottom of this, they're gonna they're instant kill. So we're gonna be avoiding those for the run. This is one of the small points of RNG in the game. Uh, it's basically just a Simon game. Uh, I missed the early cycle there. All right, so I need to avoid taking any more damage because uh, I'm gonna want a damage boost through the second half of this section up here. Again, the, the pointy dudes are gonna do two points of damage if I hit them. So I'm gonna, di I'm gonna damage boost through the red there and just pass through that section. So. The second boss that we're coming up on is called the Spike Wall. Uh, it's basically very creative names, right? Um, so we have a limited amount of time that we can fight this guy for because he will push us into a wall at the end. And uh, if we touch the boss, we take two points of damage. If we get hit by one of the orbs, we only take one. So we want to avoid it. There's uh, three that are difficult to kill because you have to jump to get them. And uh, that's one of them. All right. The uh, other one that's going to be difficult is this one right here. All 
And one last one. All right, boss is dead. All right, now we get our second movement ability. Uh, so we get a double jump now. Uh, in this game, the jump height is set. So when we don't want to jump full distance, we will uh, do a quick double jump. Um, these these enemies we're going to be encountering for a large portion of the run. Uh, you want to avoid doing what I just did there. The enemy themselves, if you touch them, end up uh, doing two, one point of damage, but their uh, shots do two points of damage. So this is where the uh, any percent run and the 100% run dif uh, differ. We're going to go and pick up a, uh, a health upgrade that we wouldn't get in the any percent run. Ooh, that was close. Uh, I don't know why they have this intricate puzzle here. Uh, you have to have double jump to get here, which means you can just skip the whole puzzle. Uh, damage doesn't matter. All right. So now we're moving on to the next area. We will actually have to backtrack to here um, because one of the upgrades requires us to pick up a movement piece later on and come back, so. That's four, I think. All right. Again, these these are going to instant kill you every time. Later on, we'll get a buff that makes it a little bit easier to deal with these things, but still a large portion of the run is avoiding them. Right, we're going to take a little bit of damage there, but it doesn't really matter. Right. So now we're moving on to the third boss. So we can skip a large portion of this. All right. Here we're going to try and avoid the first one so that we can damage boost through the uh, spikes at the end. Because again, the, uh, the rotating orbs only do one point of damage. The spikes will do two, so... We have some extra health. I can damage boost through this. All right, so we're on to the third boss, which is the Mega Roller. Hopefully, I can get a four cycle out of this guy. One one of the tricks to this is that um, they have iframes after being hit, so you don't want to fire too fast, except for when you're following them. Uh, we should have him. I'm going to risk it. Oh, We're good. Uh, like the first boss, this guy actually speeds up as he takes damage. All right, this time we're going a little bit safer and mega roller down. All right, so now we get a buff that makes your dash invulnerable. So now we can dash to the spikes. Uh, well, uh, you're invulnerable during the middle of the dash, but a lot of times you'll take damage at the end of the dash, so uh, we're going to protect ourselves for as much as we can. Um, this actually is a lot easier category than any percent, because any percent we go into the last rooms with uh, uh, only three hearts, and so we're likely to take a lot of damage. And this is the hardest room for me. All right, that's the hardest jump of the game right there. <laughs> All right, so... We're going to go pick up another heart now because this is 100%. So we're going to just take damage there. It doesn't matter. And because we can dash through uh, spikes, we don't have to worry about it there. All right. I'll just take damage there. It doesn't really matter. All right, so now we have to go backtrack. Normally, if uh, if this was any percent, we'd be heading towards the boss of the game right now, but we have to go pick up rapid fire and a couple of hard upgrades. All right, so let's see. Now this room is a little bit faster now that we can dash through spikes. Right. 
going to go for the uh, dangerous jump here, but it's fine. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go get another health upgrade that we normally wouldn't get in the any percent run, but uh, we wait to do this because it's supposed to be easy, but I messed up my dash there, so that's six. See, I, I gotta make up time. I mean, we're too far ahead, so we'll take some deaths. All right. So now we're gonna go and get rapid fire, which is totally unnecessary and actually slows down the final boss. Um, button mashing is faster than rapid fire, but rapid fire lets you have more than uh, three bullets on the screen, so. So we're going to cheat this puzzle a little bit. They want you to push all three blocks down to build kind of a staircase, but we're just going to use two. I should say while I'm going for this run, uh, this was a game that I picked up in February as part of uh, the Obscure Speedruns Club. So I have not put a whole lot of time into this game, probably about a little bit over 10 hours. So uh, this is just another example of how easy it is to speedrun. Um, we pick up new games every month. If you're ever interested, I'll uh, I'll link the Discord and chat after this. All right, so we're gonna get rapid fire. They've got all those guys there. We can actually kill these. We just don't because it takes too long. Um, so we're just gonna go back through. All right, so this this part gets a little bit tight. Um, the those guys can do two points of damage. So as you can see, I'm on my last block of health, but we're good. We're gonna hit a save point before uh, anything and refill our health. We'll do a marathon save here. And we're gonna have to head back towards the uh, spike wall boss because that's where the last uh, power up is. But this area is a little bit easier because we can just go up on top now. All right, so this is the the one reason why we use our t uh, uh, real time on this one is, oh, there we go, first try. If we miss that, we have to reload, but we're good. So at this point in time, we have all of the buffs in the game. We have seven hearts, all the upgrades. So let's head towards the boss. Uh, it's Zoltan. It's his dungeon. Uh, uh, the fight is very similar to Mother Brain. It's not. It's not at all. So we're just going to damage boost through all that because with seven hearts, we don't really, really care. Uh, in the any percent run, we're doing a lot of these tricks with uh, three hearts, which means if you get hit by one of the uh, two damage enemies, you don't... Uh, I forgot that I could just dash through these. Just talking about it. All right. Took a little bit of extra damage there, but it doesn't matter. I'm used to going through this part with three hearts. So this is kind of the last section before the boss. This is, oh, well, I wanted to donate some more money. So that's what we're doing there. Yeah, why not? Uh, so this is the longest length of uh, like essentially stages between a save. And last game of Simon for us to play. We're getting okay RNG, but not the best. You actually have to jump between uh, the two buttons. If you walk off one, it doesn't count. So this is the last room. Um, normally I would be careful about it, but I have enough health. So here we are on to the last boss. Let's see how many, t how many tries it takes. Time will end uh, if, when I when the screen goes black. Oh, extra death. I think all the bosses take 30 hits, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we can usually get about five. I've got uh, low audio, so it's hard for me to tell, but it's fine. I've been playing this whole, whole run 
basically no sound, but uh, the music in this game gets kind of grating. It's a short loop, and it's the same music the whole game. What's nice is if you decide that you're, you want to speed run this, you can actually uh, change the music and time. All right. All right. That's good. And uh, that's eight deaths, so I'm going to be donating 40 uh, for that. So uh, sounds good. All right. Uh, yeah, no problem.